Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here and do not know me, my name is Morgan and today I'm coming to you with a very, very, very highly asked for video. Um, so I moved to Florida to Orlando in nine days time. That's actually like <laughs> very mental. Um, but yeah, so I've had a lot of people message me and request for a packing video. Um, I actually was very organised, very on top of it all, and I got my packing done very early on. But yesterday, um, I put the last couple of bits in, and I was like, okay, time to weigh my cases. My one case is overweight. <laughs> So I'm taking with me two large cases and a hand luggage case and a rucksack and my two large cases for the hold are allowed to be 23 kilograms each. The one was 24.9 kilograms and the other one was 19.5 kilograms. So it's not awful, I just essentially now need to take everything out and repack it all. Um, so I thought... I would show you some of the stuff I'm taking with me whilst I do that. Um, you can probably see, here's the two cases. Um, so yeah. And for those of you who haven't been following along my journey and don't already know, the reason I'm moving to Florida is I'm actually going to go and work for the Walt Disney World Company um, in the Epcot Park in the Orlando area. So I will be working in the UK pavilion um, of World Showcase in Epcot. Um, it's a year contract, I'll be working in food and beverage, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited, I've literally, I've been waiting for this moment for the longest time, and now it's come round, it's like, I almost don't even know how to process it, um, and process it, it's like, actually real, this is like my biggest dream ever, um, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's crack on with the packing. Okay, so here's my two large cases. This is the one that is currently overweight, so I need to open it all back up. Then down here, we've got my hand luggage case, um, which I haven't entirely finished packing yet, but it's all pretty much in there. Uh, my rucksack, as you can see, we got Genie there. Um, that's my pillow, a couple of extra bits. Um, I've got my Nuimos on the back of my rucksack and my celebration pin moving to Florida. Um, yeah, there's a couple extra bits on my bed here that are last minute stuff I also need to put into the case. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much sorted. I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, so yeah, let me let me show you what I've got. Okay, so this is the cases as I currently have them packed. As you can see, they are both like literally full to the brim. Um, so I just need to work out what's heavy and what I can move. Obviously, things like chocolates, I'm going to try and move into the other case. And I mean, I've got most of my toiletries already in this case. Um which is kind of concerning, but we'll figure it out. <sighs> this is so challenging. I actually don't know what to move. So far, all I've changed, right, is <laughs> I'm taking two pairs of trainers in my suitcase. I've got my Converse and my Vans. So the Vans are heavier, so I've moved them into that case and put the Converse in here. Um... <sighs> I'm thinking I'm going to put all my toiletries in there and then I don't really know what else. Also uh, shout out to the Weetabix I'm taking with me. Um, I love my Weetabix so that's a bit of a comfort food item that I'm going to savour whilst I'm there. Um, other comfort food items we've got going on. I'm not going to get it out because it's all packed, but I've got a thing of gravy granules because um, they don't do proper gravy in the US. And I've also got a bottle of HP sauce, which again, I won't get out because it is airtight packed um, so that it's not going to leak, or at least we're hoping not. 
Um, yeah. Right. I'm gonna work out what else I can move from case to case. I think once I've moved stuff, stuff around a bit more, I'll show you more what I've got. Um, but at the minute, I just need to try and work out this conundrum. Okay, I've moved this bag of toiletries into here and switched it with this packing cube which has a couple of cardigans in it. So now all my toiletries are going to be in this case. Um, so I think what I'm going to do... Oh no! I just remembered I haven't packed my trainers. Oh... I have a pair of trainers downstairs that I wore to the gym this morning and they need to go in the case. I'm gonna go grab them now before I do anything else. Okay, trainers retrieved along with another one of my um, shoe packing cubes. I highly, highly, highly recommend packing cubes. If you haven't used them before, you need to use them because honestly, they have saved me so much room and everything is so much more organized in my case like all my stuff is divided into literally what it is so i've got like a thing with my cardigans a thing with my dresses uh crop tops t-shirts shorts um i've got all my gym stuff and then like all my shoes in shoe bags so that they like are protected and also don't get the rest of my stuff in my case like grubby like if they're slightly like these aren't too bad, but if they're slightly dirty or anything. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend those. And then another tip, another tick, tip, um, if you roll all your clothes rather than fold them, it takes up so much less space. And I was able to fit so much more stuff in. Um, although I don't actually know right now whether that's a good thing or not, because <laughs> like I said, my case is overweight, so. <laughs> Pros and cons to everything, I guess. Um, right. Let's get all this stuff back in, zip them up, see how heavy they are. And then I will, hopefully that'll be okay. If so, I will then show you what we've got. got okay, they're shut. <laughs> I'll just try and zip them both up and then weigh them. Luckily my mum bought me one of these um, scales which is very handy otherwise I would have been in a right kerfuffle when I got to the airport. <sighs> right. uh, wait, I think this case has a... Yes! It does. Extend the thing on it. That's helpful. This is the moment of truth as to how much they weigh. Um, I mean, this one's definitely heavier. This one, I'm not sure. I am scared. <laughs> right, let's go for this one first. Right, nothing else can go in this one. It is 22. I think it's gonna go off before I show you. I don't know if you can see. 22.8. <laughs> surely, surely if this one has gone up that much, this one should be fine now. Because this one was 19.5 to start with. Okay. Right. Ugh. 
No way. No way. Oh, it's gone off. How did I? Hang on. I feel like I need to show you this. <sighs> I couldn't have worked it out better if I tried. Can you see that? 22.9. <sighs> okay. Well, that makes me feel a lot better and so much less panicked. Right. Nothing else can go into these cases. Nothing at all. You know, I hate to say it, but like, I don't even want to reopen them again in case it like does something to the weight. Or in case I forget what's in each one. Mm. No, I will. I will. I will show you. I will show you <laughs> more of what's in the cases. And then we'll just have to reweigh them and pray. <laughs> okay, right. I am so scared to move anything right now, but I will talk you through some of the stuff I've got. So. Essentially, I am going to Florida, obviously, the end of April, so like beginning of spring there time, um, which in terms of weather, it is like a late 20s, early 30 degrees every day. Um, so essentially, that's that's been another bonus for me because realistically, the only clothes I've got packed are summer clothes. Obviously, they take up less room, they're less weight. Like, I'm not taking a single pair of jeans or anything with me. Um, I've got a couple of pairs of leggings, like gym leggings. Um, I've got, like, one hoodie packed. Um, and then the only other winter stuff I've got, really, is, like... I mean, I've got my hoodie. Um... But that's more of a, co a comfort item and also my Cheshire cat blanket that I normally keep on my bed. Um, this is a tote bag. Um, so yeah, that's definitely been a bonus. Like I said, I've got, well, three pairs of trainers packed. And then I've got my new um, Nike Air Force. I'm going in. Obviously, they are the heaviest trainers and the most bulky. So I'm going in those. My other trainers are, are just a pair of Converse, a pair of Vans, and then my running trainers that I just showed you. Um, other shoes I'm taking, I've got, I think, about four pairs of flip-flops. Obviously, they don't wear anything. They don't take up any room. I am going to Florida. I'm going to be in the sun all the time. So I was like, I'll take plenty of those. Um, and that is pretty much it for shoes. Obviously, I am going over, the th over there to work, but my work shoes are company shoes that will be provided for me, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's shoes, what I've got. Um, other things you might be interested in are like what toiletries I'm taking, which like I said, I am taking quite a lot toiletry wise, um, but it's all stuff that I'm going to need. I've kind of gone with the principle of I'll pack stuff I need for the first week or like a couple of weeks whilst I settle in and then I can top up whilst I'm out there. Um, I've got like my perfume, obviously like sanitary products, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, body butter. I've also got like I think two things of sun cream, two things of after sun, my shampoo, conditioner, uh, makeup remover, deodorant, um, pretty much the bare essentials um, in terms of that. As you can see, there's my flip-flops. Oh, and a pair of slides as well. Um, and other items I've packed, which I think are a really good idea for the programme. This is actually a brand new raincoat. Obviously, I am going to Florida. It does rain a lot there. Um, as you can see, I haven't even had it out the pack. So I can't even tell you what, it's, what it looks like. Um, but I ordered it off of Amazon. Um... I will try and insert a picture of it to show you what it should look like, but until I get that, I won't know. Pajamas, uh, I showed you the Weetabix. And then other things I've bought, I've got 
a obviously I'm gonna need to take pack lunch with me for the days when I'm at work I actually found this collapsible lunch box which I got from B&M which is super handy and it comes with a spork as well and then I also got a miniature one which is like a little snack tub again super handy and the fact that they're flat they don't take up any room in my case so they're perfect um, this is just some like posters and like decor things for going on my wall in my apartment um, then oh I bought um, all my towels here in this country before I go obviously you don't have to do that but it was just one less thing for me to buy when I get there obviously I am going to live and work there for a whole year so I've got a bath towel hair towel I think I've got a flannel and then also bath mat um, like I said it's going to be very sort of chaotic when I first get there um, especially with like having to buy household things so it was just one less thing for me to buy and then some other handy things I got I actually bought a pop-up storage bin or laundry basket um, which again is just one less thing for me to buy when I get there and I thought it was super handy and as well I also had this collapsible storage box um, which obviously I already had it in my room that's just the bottom that you insert into that so I thought you know what again that doesn't take up any room in my case and it's another bit of sort of furniture household type um, thing that I then already got when I get there I've got that packed and then that's pretty much it in terms of useful stuff um, oh there is one more thing actually which I will uh, I don't really want to get it out and show you but I have got an extension lead in there um, just because obviously the wall socket plugs are different in the US um, so I've got two adapter plugs that I'm taking with me that are in my hand luggage and then I'm taking the extension lead so that then obviously I can plug more of my like equipment and you know like my phone, my iPad, my camera portable chargers all that sort of stuff like I can plug I can plug more stuff in at once so yeah I'm taking one of those that was actually my friend Harriet's suggestion which I was like you know what it doesn't take up any room I'll chuck it in um so yeah that's sort of the useful stuff that I don't know maybe you haven't thought of if you're doing a program or doing something similar to this um definitely I recommend those things um oh and as well if you are doing the cultural representative program and going to work for disney i highly recommend getting a couple of packs of these plain black uh ankle socks from primark before you go um like i said to you all of our costume and shoes and everything like that is all provided by disney the only thing um that is recommended that we get ourselves is socks and you know they're really cheap in this country from primark I can easily pick them up again it's one less thing for me to worry about when I get there um so yeah that is that on to the exciting bits uh so ears I'm taking five pairs with me this isn't gonna focus is it oh is it gonna focus there we are so I've got my Disney 100 ears which I actually picked up on my last trip when I was there in the summer uh the Alice in Wonderland ears why isn't it focusing there we go um and these are actually the united kingdom pavilion ears so i was like i have to take them they are a must uh, and then over in this case i've also got two pairs of ears so i've got my animal leopard print ears and then i've also got my little mermaid ears um and then in my hand luggage uh oh i don't know where they're put right now but um I will show you that in a bit because I'll move on to hand luggage after all of this but I've got another pair of ears in there essentially in my hand luggage I've tried to keep all my stuff I need for my first weekend separate so I'm planning on wearing them the first weekend that's why they're in there um so yeah so I'm taking five pairs of ears in total it was such a hard decision and unfortunately uh those ones up there they weren't part of the chosen selection um which breaks my heart that I can't take them all but as you've just witnessed I don't have room or 
capacity to be able to take them all. Um, so yeah, they can proudly sit on my wall for the year whilst I'm gone. And then the other exciting thing you might be interested in, bags. I'm taking three lounge flies. I've got my Jasmine um, Aladdin themed lounge fly. I have got my... Um, why can't I think today? Frozen Lounge Fly, which I absolutely love. That is probably my favourite out of the three. And then I've also got my Princess Tiana one, which again is in my hand luggage. Um, I couldn't make a decision on which of those to bring. So I'm bringing all three of them. Um, but it's been quite good and they have been used effectively in terms of packing and everything. Um, I essentially have used them the same way as I've used my packing cubes so like in this jasmine one I've got all my sort of like room decorations like breakable items like all wrapped up in there um, and then the other one in my main case my frozen one um, I've just used for like all my underwear and like socks all that like they are very handy for that and you can actually fit a lot into them um so yeah and then my one my one in my hand luggage actually has my teddy in it it's got my teddy called flump um so he's living the dream right now it's all right flump <laughs> um so yeah i mean i think that is about it in terms of exciting things oh um this is also disney this is my 5k run disney cap that my friend harriet actually got me um i'm planning on doing one of the run disney events at some point in the year whilst i'm over there so she got me that um but yeah i think that's pretty much all that's sort of relevant to show you um so i'm gonna get these zipped back up now Reweigh them make sure they are still the same um, And then that is that done they can sit proudly against that wall until I then go Here goes again guys Right case number one How has that happened? How has it lost weight? I mean, I'm not complaining, but it now says it's um, 22.3. Let's hope, let's hope I didn't shuffle something up and accidentally put something in this case that shouldn't have been in it. <laughs> oh gosh, right. Oh no. Oh dear, it's 23.1. Oh no, how has this happened? This is a nightmare. I've now got to open them both back up again and move something else <laughs> oh. okay right it's all right it's literally 0 0.1 of a kg that's literally like one item i know what i will move the raincoat from here to there and then that should be okay right the raincoat is now in here rather than here but I'm thinking like um, I don't know is that is that enough weight actually maybe it says on it how much it weighs oh I don't think it does how heavy are you you know what mm. I'm doing it I'm doing it I'm gonna leave that in there and that be it zip them back up and weigh them again and we're praying okay take three please 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 i'm praying can the world be on my side no that can't be right 
that, no, 23.4, no. Oh, it is. I'm, is there even any point in winning this one? This one's now over. I'll weigh it anyway. Surely that raincoat doesn't weigh five, 500 grams. Surely not. A. <laughs> make it make sense. This one's 22.2 .2 now. Oh, out of focus. <sighs> You know what? I think I'm going to go get some lunch. I'm going to go get some lunch and then come back because this is really hurting my head. <laughs> okay, everybody. I am back from my lunch. I had a cheese and tomato sandwich and some water. Anyway, I had a better idea. I thought I would finish packing the rest of my hand luggage stuff see what space I've got to work with and then hopefully take something out of my main cases. But before I do that, I will show you what I've got in my hand luggage. So, here goes. So like I said, I'm taking my rucksack and my case. In my rucksack, I've basically got all my things I want for on the plane, plus my uh, my genie teddy, because of course he's got to come along too. Um, so in here, I've sort of got all my documents like visa documents, passport documents, all my like check-in things I need, um, I've got a notepad, pencil case, book, my purse, um, and then the couple of toiletries I'm taking in my hand luggage, which are obviously the ones under 100 mil. Um, so I've essentially got shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, um, a little makeup remover and then a mini bottle of sun cream that's literally the only toiletries I'm taking in there um, so yeah that's essentially oh, I'll put him back in in a minute sorry Jeannie that's essentially what's in my bag and then all of this stuff is stuff for the first weekend um, essentially when I arrive in Orlando uh, me and Harriet are staying in a hotel. We're staying in the Port Orleans Riverside Resort. So we'll be there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and then we check into our actual housing and accommodation on the Monday morning. Um, which, obviously, I don't want to have to be opening my main cases um, because I might not be able to get them shut again. Um, so yeah, everything I need for that first weekend, I've sort of got in here or at least that's my plan so I've actually got a denim jacket um, which again is quite handy to have in here because it weighs quite a lot inside this pouch is just essentially all of my travel like adapters and all that sort of stuff and again in this lounge fly um, the same sort of thing really I've got travel adapters in there I've got a baseball cap I've also got my teddy flump um, I'm not gonna get him out because he's very well packed right now uh, one pair of flip flops and a little handbag this is actually my calendar which my mum made for me all personalised it's got loads of Disney pictures in it and family photos um, that's just there because it had been up on my wall up until now, so I hadn't got around to packing it. So that can easily just slot on top. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, my little sausage dog teddy from my girlfriend. That's in there. Um, oh, and this is abs actually, going back to the collapsible theme, it's a collapsible coffee mug that my dad and stepmom got me for Christmas. And I also have a matching collapsible water bottle um so i've got both of those super handy they'll be super handy for like going out and about taking places uh in here is my waterproof phone case for like taking in the pools and things 
and then in this part if i can undo it um yeah in this part i've got oh, these are the ears i was telling you about earlier they're my tiana ones because like i said we're staying at the port orleans resort which is all princess and the frog themed my jewelry box um, which is a travel one my mum got for me. I'd been looking for one for a while and I couldn't find one and my mum actually found this one from Pandora and it's perfect. So I've got all my necklaces hung up in that bit. Then you take this bit out and it's a mirror and then in here I've got my rings, bracelets, um, yeah all of that and there's another section underneath. Um, Oh yeah, I've got my Disney watch, um, my crystal that I got with my girlfriend a couple of weeks back, and then my other Pandora bracelet in there. So, that's super handy. Again, obviously that's quite heavy, so it's a good thing to have in my hand luggage. Um, a little poncho for the first weekend. A load of socks, which I've like stuffed in the edges, and then essentially... This is all my clothes for um, that first weekend. So I think I've got like a couple of different pairs of shorts, t-shirts, my outfit for check-in day, as well as like pajamas, underwear, one bikini in there. Um, so yeah, essentially that is my hand luggage. I do obviously have a tiny bit of space and I'm thinking it'll be good if I can try and get rid of potentially a pair of trainers out of my main case and pop them in here um so i will try and i will let you know how that goes um uh, oh, this is... life ain't easy <laughs> i'm gonna try and fit my pair of vans into my hand luggage because yeah, they are quite they are quite heavy, I guess. And at the and at the same time they pack quite flat. So I'm I feel like they should hopefully squeeze it in. Maybe. I mean like <laughs> it's in sort of, but I feel like the case isn't actually gonna zip up. You know what? I'm just gonna give it a shot and hope for the best plan b what's my plan b <sighs> because the vans don't fit right the vans are going back in the case um and i've decided what have I decided? Maybe I'll just put the raincoat in here because I feel like it's that that caused the problem initially. So maybe, maybe if I just try and squeeze that in here and if need be, my denim jacket can probably squeeze into my rucksack. I would rather it not, but it definitely can. Oh my gosh, the calendar can go in my rucksack and now your touch kind of overwhelms me. Okay, this maybe looks more promising. I did just realise though, I haven't shut this yet and re-weighed re it. Okay, right, that's the next job. Yes! 22.9! Ah! No way! 22.9 as well? Can you see that? Why is it focusing on my face? Focus on this. You know what this means, guys? It means my packing is officially complete. 
I'm very tired now. I feel like that was a workout in itself. The amount of times I had to open and shut those cases. Anyway, thank God that is done. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for me. That's me ready to go and ready to go to Florida. Um, I think I'm probably not going to upload any more videos now until I get there. Um, and this will be my last video in this country. Or like at least for the next year and a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I fly nine days today um, and I officially start like... Well, I move into Disney property um, and my Disney accommodation on the 22nd of April. That's when my contract officially starts. So yeah, um, this is it guys. This is it. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, then, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. And stay tuned for the next year of adventures. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you real soon.